looking at today is Maybox Linux 22.12 Istrid. This is a great update for this operating system. Also, it's got some new customized tools that we're going to take a look at to really make that open box pop and really get it created and customized just the way you like it. Now, one of the things I like about Maybox is that it is based on Manjaro, but what they've done is they've weeded some of the things that exist in Manjaro that kind of make your experience not so good, and they've gotten rid of them, and then they've integrated some of their own tweaks, and then some things from other distributions. So, Maybox Linux is based on Manjaro. It features a customized open box window manager, which is pre-configured and ready for you to use. It was inspired by Crunchbang, and it uses some of the Bunsen Lab utilities adapted for Manjaro. Now, these utilities are awesome, and I've covered Bunsen Labs in the past, so I know if you're a viewer of my channel, you've seen that. Maybox Linux uses some of the XFC and LXD components ingrained as well. It's got the Tint 2 as the default panel, and it uses JG Menu for your main menu, side panels, exit dialog, and your screenshot tools. It's really great the way they have it set up. And when you do come to their website, this is the screen you're met with. I'll be sure to link this in the description below. And it just gives you some base information. Lightweight and fast, fresh install, stable, donate, free, Maybox tools, things that are unique to Maybox. And then the latest news. That gives you information there. And then down here, you can follow them on YouTube, Twitter, Odyssey, Facebook, Reddit, Telegram. It's got a lot of great information on their website. And then if you come up top, you've got home news, user guide, about, forum, donate, uh, and then manual, forum, blog, repository. This is one of those distributions that I think every time it gets an updated release, it just gets better. Maybox Linux. Now this is a throwback to old school Linux with a new school look and feel. If you're looking for an Arch-based Linux distribution that is easy to install and offers a different user interface than the tried and true GNOME, KDE, XFCE, Maybox Linux might be just what you want. I've run so many Linux distributions from the incredibly simple to the overly complex from modern interfaces to old school throwbacks. I've used CDE, KDE, XFCE, Afterstep, Blackbox, Enlightenment, Cinnamon, Mate, Gnome, and nearly every desktop environment you could even imagine that's been available on Linux. I've also used Ubuntu-based, Fedora-based, Arch-based, and just about any distribution based on nearly any other distribution. The combinations have been staggering over the years. Needless to say, I've experienced it all since I started using Linux in 2007. Because of using so many Linux distributions over the years, very little surprises me these days. But when I spin up uh, a virtual instance of Maybox Linux, I couldn't help but really smile. Why, you ask? Because it reminded me of my early days using Linux, only with a bit of a more modern, user-centric twist. You see, back in the early days, Linux wasn't so user-friendly. Quite the opposite, in fact. Linux was hard in its infancy. So when I see a Linux distribution that reminds me of those days, but manages to make it easy on users without years of experience under their belt, it reminds me how far the open source operating system has truly came. Such is the case for Maybox Linux. Now, I wouldn't suggest just anyone downloading and using Maybox Linux. It's not that Maybox doesn't make Arch Linux easy, it does. But when you first log into the desktop, you are greeted with something most hardcore Linux users love to see, but can be a real put off to new users. I'm talking about information and lots of it. You see, Maybox Linux places four information centric widgets front and center on the desktop. So you can get an at a glance look at how the OS is using your system resources and even two widgets that give you the keyboard shortcuts for things like opening various apps, menus, and even window management controls. Also on the open box window manager desktop, you'll find a simple single top panel that gives you quick access to all your installed apps. The Maybox colorizer, we'll go over more of this in a bit, and a system tray with plenty of controls. Click on the open box menu and you'll see all of the installed applications. Missing from that menu is an office or productivity entry. Poke around and you'll see there is no office suite or email client installed. 
Fortunately, those apps are easily added with the help of Add and Remove Software GUI tool that's included with the operating system. Do a quick search for LibreOffice, OnlyOffice, and install it with a couple of clicks. Like most Arch Linux spinoffs, Maybox Linux makes the installation a snap with a total point-and-click installation process. There's even a point during the installation where you can choose between open source or proprietary video drivers. The installation of Maybox Linux is as easy as any Linux distribution you've ever tried, which says a lot given how simple modern Linux is to get up and running. Once you have the distribution installed, the big surprise comes by way of performance. Maybox Linux is amazingly fast, like faster than most distributions I've used. A big part of that is due to the open box window manager, which is very lightweight. Compared to my regular KDE-based Linux desktop, Maybox is like driving a Lamborghini as opposed to my Porsche. The difference is that obvious, but for me being on KDE, it's something I'm willing to give up to be there. But Maybox is very impressive. The open box window manager might be light in weight, but not in customization. As I mentioned earlier, there's a Maybox colorizer. Open the colorizer from the top bar, and you can easily customize the color of your Maybox desktop, including the theme, side panels, conky, which creates the desktop widgets, wallpaper, tint a panel, and even the terminal theme from the colorizer. If you open the OB theme menu, a sidebar will appear where you can get even more granular with your theme customizations. So the question is, who is Maybox Linux best for? I'm not about to say that Maybox can be used by anyone, although I'm confident that anyone could use this Linux distribution once you start digging into the customizations. It's probably best to have a bit more experience tweaking a Linux desktop. Overall, if you've been itching to try an Arch Linux distribution and want something outside of the usual GNOME, KDE, XFCE desktop environments, Maybox Linux is an outstanding option that's as easy to use and lightning fast. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You also can become a member right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month, but that's not all. We are also on Nutrion, which you can become a member on at $2.99 a month, or Odyssey, which is $4 a month. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe zip on over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.